Hey everyone, today is Saturday, January 15th. The time is just after 2 p.m. and the temperature right now is around minus 15 degrees Celsius. And with the wind chill, it's about minus 23. So it is quite cold today. And this is the intersection of Trafalgar Road and Lakeshore Road East. And no, I am not in the city of Toronto. This is the city of Oakville. So it is two cities to the west of Toronto. And just to the south of me is Lake Ontario. And this would be the downtown Oakville area. And it's been a very long time since I've been here. Probably over 20 years. And for this one, I'm just gonna take a walk around downtown. I think I'll head west along Lakeshore here and then just before 16 Mile Creek, I'll pop down into a park and we'll take a look at the lake. And then I think I'll walk back up to Lakeshore. And there's another street that runs parallel to Lakeshore that I remember has a few things on it worth checking out, and that is Church Street. And that's just to the north of here. Or at least I re remember it as being a fairly busy street. Although on a cold day like this, when not even bars and restaurants are open for dine-in, there's probably not going to be a whole lot of people out. There's a Greek restaurant across the street. Yeah, it's so cold, it feels like the sole of my left shoe is kind of sticking to the sidewalk. So I apologize if there's an odd sound coming from my left shoe. I can hear it. I don't know if the mics can. And there's a Tommy Bahama. So I think Oakville has around a population of 200,000 or so. Here's a mini public square, I guess. And not too far to the west of here, I think it's called Lakeside Park. And there's a museum there. And I think there's an old lighthouse in the vicinity we might be able to see. There's the Black Forest Pastry Shop. And this part of Oakville is rather affluent. the British grocer. In fact, just to the east of here, off the lake shore, there's a number of very expensive homes. You'll find real estate listings as high as 15 and 20 million for some properties. And there's an anthropology. dough box wood fried pizza.
So this overpass here will carry over the 16 Mile Creek. And there's the public library. And this is Navy Street. That's why I think I can take this down to the park. So the downtown area isn't particularly big. I think we already covered most of it in the first six minutes, or at least the main retail stretch along Lakeshore. Okay, good driving. That is the Murray House. It's a Canadian hotel, part of the Oakville Historical Society. And that dates back, it looks like, to 1944. And I think there's an old museum just in here on the right. So I'll go take a look at the waterfront and I'll head back up. I'll see if I can take a different street than this just so we don't see the same place again. the Oakville Lawn Bowling Club. I think I'm actually going to change the glove on my right hand. This one's a bit thin. My fingers are starting to freeze. Oakville Historical Society. Somewhere in my pockets I have warmer gloves. There you go, I got it. These sculptures are kind of interesting. That looks like a large moose. And some wolves. Wow, look at all the geese. It's 
Kind of a remarkable sight down there. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. And on the other side of the 16 Mile Creek here, there's an old lighthouse that dates back to the 1800s. So I can't quite catch a glimpse of it from here. Oh, there it is, I think. Seagulls, ducks, geese. I have never seen anything like this. All these geese look like rocks out on the water. <laughs> they think I'm chasing them. Please don't drop any bombs on me. These ones here are quite calm. That looks like the Oakville Yacht Club just across the way there. I'm gonna have to grab a picture of this. This is kind of unreal. There's one for Insta. All right, let's keep moving here. That's enough ducking around. I'm willing to change the glove on my left hand as well. Sorry about that. And you thought you were getting a walk around downtown Oakville. And you ended up getting a slice of Nat Geo. And it looks like they've blocked off that long pier there where the lighthouse is at the end. And this is called the Larry Kane Trail.
Let's see if we can get a view of the Toronto skyline from here. Oh, you can. There it is, way off in the distance. This might be worthy of another picture right here. Speaking of Toronto, I'll be heading back there soon. If you're wondering what brings me to Oakville. Well, I have a friend who has an appointment here this afternoon. And they said they're going to take a lift here instead of the GO train. And they said, my appointment's only about an hour. Why don't you tag along and make a video of Oakville while you're there? So I thought, sure. Sounds like a great idea. Okay, so I'm gonna head back up towards Lakeshore now. That water looks absolutely freezing. I wish this camera had a better zoom. We'd have a better shot of the skyline. This is the Thomas House. And that's been there since 1829. There's an Oakville post office dating back to 1835. That's probably not the original location. And this is connected to the waterfront trail. So if you follow these signs, they will lead you all the way to downtown. And look at this house. That is pretty crazy. And this here is Thomas Street.
1839 it says in that house. And Oakville is a part of Halton region. So Toronto is its own region, and then the city of Mississauga to the west is part of Peel region. It says 1887 on it. And Oakville is one more over in Halton. I think Burlington, which is another city just to the west of here, is also part of Halton, as is Milton to the north. 1883 St. Jude's Anglican, established 1839. And here's Robinson Street, and the next block will take us back to Lakeshore. And the battery on my camera is dropping like crazy. I guess you can thank the frigid temperatures for that. It's hard to make it where a pedestrian is supposed to cross here. This looks like a marked crossing. I don't see where this car would have a stop sign. Okay. The town of Oakville, where you risk your life just across the street. There's the Oakville Armory. I think it is still designated a town rather than a city as they had a long-standing mayor who preferred it that way. And they were staving off mass development in Oakville. One of the golf courses where they hold the Canadian Open, Glen Abbey, is to the north of here, north of the highway. And there were plans to redevelop that. That drew a lot of local opposition. I think for now at least, Glen Abbey has been saved. We're back to Lakeshore. Okay, I'm going to go north at the next block and we'll check out Church Street. So some minor backtracking here. So let's see what's going on 
uh, on Church Street, if I remember correctly. I remember there was like a bar or nightclub, some spot that was quite popular in this area. As I grew up in Mississauga, which is the city just to the east of here, and occasionally there would be a night down here, although that were, or was the late 90s, early 2000s. Hey, look, we have a proper crosswalk here. What do you know? Here's the Queen's Head. I think this was here back in the day. And I also think I was wrong about Church Street. All right, I think I'll head back to Lakeshore here. See the lake off in the distance. And here's the second cup, and on a cold day like this, that would have been a great place to go in and hang out and get warmed up. So this is Trafalgar Road coming up, so that's right where I started. And I'll continue on east here and cover the rest of the main part of downtown at least. I think around Allen Road is pretty much where it finishes up. So this is walking east along the north side. And then just east of Allen Road is where you'll find a lot of really large homes. And then eventually Lakeshore comes to an end at Southdown Road, and then you could go north and Lakeshore starts the end. And then you'll find yourself in the city of Mississauga. Do I really have to press the button here at a major intersection like this? That is mildly infuriating. I'm just gonna cross anyways. There's a Mendicino. Cork's restaurant, I think that's been here forever. Probably 
make sure the coast is clear. What street is that even? I don't see a sign. And there's an aroma. So to come to Oakville, the logical thing to do would be to take the GO train if you're coming by transit. And this is Allen Road. All right, let's just finish down by the lake. We could see part of this residential street here or Allen Street. I think there's a park at the end. Actually, according to my phone, I'm going to hit a dead end at the end here. It's the next street that has a park, but let's see. Let's see where this leads. No sidewalks here. Oh, I just got a message. I am due back to go catch a ride back to Toronto. I think I can circle back just up ahead here. Well, it says no exit. Let's go test that. Some gorgeous old properties here that would look right at home in Rosedale. And we are at Dingle Park.
And this is, of course, Lake Ontario. Let's figure out exactly where I am. Okay, so the next one over is Trafalgar, which is a major road. So I'm gonna carry on through Dingle Park for one more block. And this will take me over to near where I was before. There we go. One more view. Looking south across the lake. I'm just going to walk up Trafalgar Road here. And I'll finish this right at the intersection where I started this one. I had a route in mind before I set out to record this, but the place we were going was not where I thought it was. So when the lift dropped us off, I kind of had to improvise. So I've kind of been making this one up as I go. But I think it worked out. And I've survived the bitter cold here in the town of Oakville, aka suburbia. This area might not look like it, but there's a lot of very suburban development elsewhere in Oakville. Things like cul-de-sacs and nonsensical street grids, low density, inefficient, unsustainable use of land. It's a problem that plagues all over the greater Toronto area. It's not just Oakville. Although there's always something kind of charming about these older areas. So let me know your thoughts and comments down below and if you want to see more videos from outside of Toronto but other nearby places let me know. I've also done a video around Port Credit and Mississauga which is also along the lake and it's quite nice. Should Burlington be next? Maybe head out east? 
Well, there's been people asking me to go up and do Unionville. Maybe I'll plan some more things like that once it gets a bit warmer. And if you wish to support the channel, there's links to a Patreon and YouTube channel membership in the description. I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides where I might be posting a few pictures from this one. A merch store at strideswag.com. And there's a link to PayPal as well. And I am back at the intersection of Lakeshore Road East and Trafalgar Road here in downtown Oakville. All right, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.